Good morning everyone from Orlando, Florida. It's another gorgeous day here. Uh, we're in Kissimmee to be specific. Uh, now today is a very special day because it is mum's birthday. Yes it is. So we're going to treat her to a great day. We've got a really really good fun day coming up. Now Laura, uh, mum knows nothing about it. Uh, we're not going to tell you anything about it. We're just going to let you follow along and just see where we pull up, see what we do. We've got two very exciting things. Uh, starting off with this morning, it's currently half past eight and we're heading straight somewhere to go and do something that we've never done and I'm sure a lot of you have never done but you might want to so stay tuned also. A very exciting thing coming up later tonight, this afternoon as well which is going to be really good fun. So uh, mum's birthday, we're going to treat her, we're going to spoil her and uh, we're going to enjoy a fantastic day. Thankfully the weather is just like we wanted, it is beautiful today, it's going to be a nice warm one again. Got up to about 24 degrees yesterday. It was lovely yeah, and warm. Yeah, to be fair, it's quite warm now. Yeah, it's, it's nice now. I've got layers on and I've got my jacket with me just in case I get cold. But I don't think I will. That's what we wanted because what we're doing, I'll give you a little hint, it is outdoors, so we did need good weather. But uh, that's all I'm going to tell you for now. We're going to jump in the car and uh, we're going to grab, I think, going to grab a coffee on the way because uh, we all need a bit of a caffeine boost. But yeah, mum's birthday, follow along. It's going to be a good, fun, busy day. Well, here she is, birthday girl. Happy birthday. Thank you. Loving life. Yeah. Look at your all nervous look. <laughs> That's a nervous smile, that. Uh. Well, I know what you're like, and I know you like winding up, so. What do you think I'm going to stick you on? I don't know. You like hot air balloons, don't you, and skydiving? Ah, uh, but you said it's something we haven't done before. No. Skydiving? Never done that before. Yeah, but Laura wouldn't do that. She would. Oh, Laura's well up for that, oh, yeah. Oh, so I'm skydiving Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about your hair. <laughs> Here we go then, start of a big day. Now, yesterday, tell everyone quickly what happened, Dad. What happened yesterday. yesterday. You've had a disaster, haven't you? Um... So me and Laura did leave Disney Springs a little bit uh, early. We left these to have a, a drink and a chill. And we were going to get an Uber home, which was like $19, job done. I downloaded the app for you and everything, didn't and it I? it all went swimmingly. All Wonderful. went great with Uber, didn't it? All good, the booked, man was exactly sorted. exactly where the mum said he would be. He yeah. was there within five minutes. Nice ride home, very chatty guy, lovely. Yeah, what have you done? I lost my phone. He's left his phone in the Uber. Ah. Nightmare. So we sat up all last night trying to contact Uber and they tried to contact the driver and blah, blah, blah. Long story short, they wouldn't ring him because it was so late and disturb him, so they've sent him a message. So we're hoping later today they're going to call mum's phone, or he's going to call mum's phone and say he's got it and he'll drop it round for whatever the fee is. Can, can you do me a favour for the subscribers? What? Slap me. <laughs> no, go on, slap me. I'm not... Slap me. <laughs> slap me. <laughs> Just give me a little slap for being a tool. You are a total tool. You better hope you get it okay. back. Okay. Nightmare. Slap myself. <laughs> I am a tool. He's absolutely gutted because his big surprise, his big thing, his big event on Saturday is all on that phone and he oh, can't go without phone. it. <laughs> right, anyway, it's it's Mum Strider's birthday, I so can't we're, let anything spoil that. we're gonna stride on and we're good to go. We all uh, yeah, all, all set. Ready. Yeah, all set. You nervous? A bit. You should be. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lady. You having a tea or a coffee, Dad? Tea, Morning. Morning. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Are you? Fabulous day here. Can I get started any food today? We're just going to go straight to beverages. And um, foods, we're getting, we get little snacks. Yeah, sure. So, what for food today? Yeah, I'll have a lemon slice, lemon loaf. Lemon loaf, yes, we do. How many would you like? Yeah, just one. One lemon loaf. What else uh, today? Two crispy cakes. Two of the crispy, crispy rice cake crispy bars. dream bars. Oh, the dream bars. Um, the marshmallow dream bars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just two of marshmallow dream bars. What else yep. And a, what, do you want your turkey thing, yeah, Dad? Or the the yeah. turkey bacon. Turkey bacon sandwich? Yeah. yeah. All right, one turkey bacon. Uh, can I have a grande caramel latte? Grande hot caramel latte? Yep. Yeah. Can right. I have it with double pumps of caramel? Do, so it comes to four, you want to go all the way to eight? eight? Yeah, please. All right, what else this morning? Same again, but with soy milk. We're going to do another one hot, but soy milk. With the double caramel in it. Right. Yeah. Um, a cup of tea with milk. What kind of tea today? Black tea. Black English. Tea. English tea. All English right. breakfast. Yeah. And did you say grande milk? Grande, yeah. Grande. Royal English. Where is this thing? 
kind of milk would you like today? Just semi skimmed. Skim milk? Yeah. Right. And one more, do you want? Uh, flat white. And a flat white. grande flat white as well, please. And a grande with extra flat white. Coffee. Right, with we'll extra shot in there as well, please. Extra shot in there. Would that conclude your order, sir? Yes. Alright. May I get a name? Andrew. Andrew. Alright, today's toll will be 4026. Thank That's you. the window. The little uh, thing not working, is it? No, no, no. I'm just being here. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. So it's like a new thing or? Yeah, it just makes it go faster, I guess. Ah, okay. Nice. But you guys have a good one, alright? You too. Take have care. a good day. Thank you. Oh. So that's that's a confusing one. So we thought the thingy the... was broken, <laughs> but yeah. it's not. It's, she's taking the order because it goes faster. So it, she must be out at busy times. So right now is a busy time. So she must be out now to just make it roll faster and get everyone's. Yeah, it's lovely. Got it all yeah. done. Yeah. yeah. Just thought, oh, the thing mustn't be working, but it must. Yeah. So quick coffee to start the day. What have you got, Mum? Uh, flat white with an extra shot of coffee to wake me up. Extra shot of coffee on your birthday? Should have been a special latte or something though. Well, not at this hour, maybe later. Dad, what you on there? Hunt off. Well <laughs> <laughs> He's got his. He's got egg, one of his. Egg white bacon. Turkey bacon turkey egg, egg white, white sandwich, yeah. And an English tea. And an English tea. Oh, nice. It's 58 degrees, so it is going to be a nice hot day. Be gorgeous, it's yeah. warming up. I've got my lemon loaf there, it has a little bit of a breakfast to uh <clears throat> keep me going through our activity. Now, what do you think we're doing, Mum? I really have no idea. I'd love to know what all you viewers at home as well think what we're doing. Is it definitely outside? Yes, yep, it's Cause, outdoors because one of my thoughts was the underground tour of um Magic Kingdom. Ooh, good, good idea, good idea. Maybe, maybe not. Any other suggestions? Um, no, I thought segways, but then you said it's something we've not done before. Mm -hmm. Then I thought a balloon ride, but A, we've done that before, and B, we'd have been up when it was dark. Well, the balloons, they're really limited now as well. They're really yeah. hard to get. Segways don't know anywhere that does them anymore. No. The, the main pl uh, company on 192 finished and went. Yeah, which is a shame. I really love that tour. They were good fun. Anything else? Um, bike ride round celebration. Nice, nice idea. I got interrogated last night. <laughs> I, I she didn't believe that I didn't know, and I genuinely don't know because I like surprises, but Lydia doesn't. No, so. I do like surprises, but I also like to get little clues. Mm. Little clues. Well, yeah. there's no other little clues coming. You've got about half an hour drive now to enjoy. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you excited, Laura? I am really excited. Laura knows yeah. what it is, I know is, what obviously. it is, yeah, because I booked it. Oh, it's going to yeah. be good fun. Okay, so do you recognise any of this from the vlogs then? Any of this view, anything going on, you know? So we've come up to 27. Vista Vista Avenue. Little sign on the right might give it away. Yay, nay. Sign on the right there. Lake Louisa. Lake Louisa State Park is where we're heading into for a certain activity. <laughs> they both look really nervous now. Oh, I'm not on one of them things you were going to put me on on that ship, are you? What's that? Which things? That rope wire thing. Oh, the zip line oh, thing. Oh, no. no a few, right? Now, if you watch the vlog, you don't know. You must not watch the vlog. Lake Louisa yeah. State Park, a few activities to do in here. Yeah. Really... Yep. And we and mentioned we... it on a, on a previous vlog. Yep. That we were going to go and do it. Okay, it's okay. Well. Climbing through the trees. No. Well, Lake Louisa St State Park, if you haven't seen our previous series of really nice state parks, $5 to get in for a car. That's for up to eight people. And there's quite a nice drive around. There's different walks and stuff. There's all kinds that we'll tell you about when we get in. But yeah, Lake Louise is literally taking us, what, 20 minutes up the highway? Yeah, literally. Like that, 20 yeah. minutes, it's not far Ooh. at all. Ooh. We're going to be in trouble now because we haven't studied the vlogs. I know, I see. Yeah, see, you've got to watch these vlogs because you're the new by now. Yeah, you, you don't know, all these little hidden gems do, that I show everyone. Like an hour and a half, you nip out now and again to make a cup of. Well, no, well, no, you've got to watch every. Tisk. You're missing all these little goodies that could be good for your holiday, you know? Yeah. <laughs>
Now, Saturday, March 9th, there is actually a uh, spring to life. So you've got a 5K, 10K race, race Louisa.com. There you go. You can run or walk it. Quite nice merchandise as well. So if you fancy a bit of that in March, if you're here in March time. So we're just driving around to where we need to go to park and you've got a, a bit of a cycling event going on today in here. Not a bad place to do your cycling, no cars really to worry about. Plenty of little stop off points to have a little nosy, there's plenty of people fishing there off the lake. Mum and Dad very nervous as to what they're doing, we've just gone past the horseback trail for the horse riding. So there is quite a lot you can do in here. You can camp, you can stay in some of the cabins, you can do the horseback riding. There is uh, all kinds you can do. Go past this little checkpoint. Whee. Everyone's really friendly. There's a trailer park where you can bring your trailer and stop and do a bit of that. There's fishing lakes, there's walks, hikes. So got a bit of kayaking going on. I can't get in a kayak. Because oh. if I get in one, I can't get out. Dun, 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 can't dun, dun, get dun, dun. out. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lydia. <laughs> if you get tipped up. I think it was here, wasn't it? Yeah, here we are. Here we are. And what we're doing is we're staring in that little tent over there. No, no, no. no. Is, that the, is, that the, is that the next villa? <laughs> That's it, yeah. That's all. You see the barbecue yeah, there, Sarah? Guys, we're moving today, not, not yeah. today. Today. Oh, no. Ah, uh, see, you might have spotted what we're doing then. Oh, Look at that, no. see? So we're doing a bit of oh, off roading segways. Mum loves segways and this is like off road in the countryside through the nature park. Little hour and a half ride. That's why I said dress warm because you don't move, do you? You get a bit cold on them. And we've seen it a couple of trips ago and we said, no, we're going to wait until Lydia comes. Yeah. So if you'd have watched the vlog, we actually said in the vlog we we're going to bring you to do it and all the rest of it. So it's quite a good job you didn't. Yeah. And, oh, mind you, you know what Mum's going to say now. What? If I'd have known, I could have been excited for a week. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. So we've got to go and get signed in and everything. It's going to be good, yes. Through like off road trail, they've got the off road tyres on. So, different to what you did around celebration, they've got the big tyres on and all that. It's going to be good fun. Well, we need the training because we're experts. We've done it before, which is very <laughs> handy. We've done it a few times before. We've done it, done it in Italy and stuff. No, no, we've got a guide. It takes us round, yeah. It's an hour and a half tall. So hope you're ready. I'm glad the weather's good, put it that way. Dad's fancying one of these here, the little sit-down bikes. Sit -down bike, good fun, aren't they? Would exercise the old hip, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. loving the weather, loving the weather. I'm excited. Very excited. It's just lovely. I love the theme parks, don't get me wrong. Fantastic. But peace and quiet. Yeah, complete peace. Especially the week we've had this week with it being that. Yeah. It's now called, we found out it's called winter break in February. All the northern state kids where it's freezing, Massachusetts and all New Jersey, all them. This is their winter break. So a lot of them have a week off, come yeah. down here, get a bit of sunshine, a bit of warm. It ties in with President's Day on the Monday and then they're off all week. Yeah. So, not only is there a spring break, there's a, a winter break. Yeah, it's nice to uh, escape. Okay, so just to show you the info on here, if you do want to come and do this, you've got uh, the Lake Louisa uh, canteen and stuff there with all these different things going on. You can rent oh, windy fishing poles and kayaks and stuff. There's the prices for that. You can book all of this on the website. And then on the other side is the Segway Tour. So we're doing this one here for the one hour. And that uh, takes us around, shows us everything. And we book this online. There's a couple of different uh, times you can pick or you can specially request an afternoon one or a specific time. But yeah, I'm excited for this. It's gonna be good, guys.
to motion with just your foot kind of right over the word segue. That's exactly where you want your foot placement there. So quick one, two, you're up. You might wobble a little bit, totally fine. Just kind of try to find your balance. Um, and then once you do find your balance, if you would like to move forward, you put a little bit of pressure into the front of your foot, of course, and I'll go forward. As you go backwards, just a little bit of pressure in the back. So you do get a full demonstration on how they work. She's just telling us about how that, how they all work. Now we've done this before, so we know a lot of it, but you just have to, have to do this little obstacle course just to, as a little bit of training, but they are nice and easy. They look like they'd be really hard to do, but they are quite easy. You just lean forward to go forward, lean back a little bit to stop or go backwards. And then the handlebars, you just glide them to the right or to the left. There's no brakes on them. They just naturally break. So you just gently lean back a little bit and they come to a stop. Yeah, got a nice guy showing us everything. We'll all do this little obstacle course and I'm gonna hit the road. <laughs> Here he goes, Dad's on his little uh, his little test, his little driving test before we start. It is good though, they do give you full training, make sure you're nice and comfortable before you start, which is nice. And that our guide's lovely, very friendly. Are you excited then, Laura? You're looking forward yeah, to this. This is going to be good, forward. isn't it? We do love segways, don't we? It's a great way to see everything that you want to see. It's a great exercise, great just. Well, a really not even good exercise. Day. It's actually very chilled. I mean, look at Dad. He's got a hip replacement and everything, and he's just happily chilling on this. It's not all. It's... Yeah. It looks really scary because you see two wheels and that. Yeah. Oh my God, that looks really hard, but it's actually. Really, really easy. You don't need to be super fit or stretchy or anything like that. It's uh, it feels like it becomes part of your body. And yeah. It's the base, yeah, yeah. It's just amazing. How these didn't catch on big time, I don't know. I think they did, but it's just they're complex, aren't they, in terms of maintaining them and stuff. There you go, look. There's mum. You've made mum's day, I know that. And this, actually, let's face it. Go here, the celebration yeah, it's going to be nice. Should see some nice wildlife and stuff. Well, everyone, we are off. Now, I do have some uh, sort of special permission to do a little bit of filming. We've done this many times before, so I have got permission uh, to do a little bit of filming, but really, you shouldn't use your phones and things like that, but we're taking a few little shots and a few little filming shots for you all for the vlog. But yeah, bear in mind that uh, obviously you've got to have your helmet, shouldn't be on your phone or anything. Uh, recommend maybe bringing a GoPro. And uh, they also recommend really uh, not to have big backpacks on and things like that that could get caught uh, in the trees. But look at this. How gorgeous is this going to be? Riding away. Well, hey, awesome. Well, look at this now. Proper off-road in the sticks amongst the wildlife, amongst the nature. Awesome. So the lovely lady's just giving us a little bit of history of the state park. It's 4,000 acres. Uh, it was owned by one family originally and then they sold half of it, 2,000 acres, to another family. And they wanted to bring a bit of agriculture and stuff to the, uh, to the area. They wanted to grow oranges. The oranges wouldn't grow. So they then came up with some type of citrus fusion uh, tree. They were made up. It was growing. Well, hey, they tried one and it was extremely bitter. I quite like uh, super sour stuff. So there is some of them knocking around. They call them the sour trees, I think she said it was. And, uh, or sour plants. We'll see some knocking around. They're like little tangerine looking things. Very sour. Couldn't sell them or anything. And in the end, uh, they ended up uh, donating all of the land to the state. So then it became a state park. So there you go, a little bit of history of the place. You can do horse riding here, kayaking, walks, camping. Oh, all kinds, bird watching, fishing, you name it. 
and look at it absolutely out in the sticks here. So this here is what they call an alligator slide. You can see a bit of a pathway through to the water. There's a nice little um, section where they enter just there. So that was actually man-made dug out easy access, but the alligators love it. And what the lady was saying, obviously, any anywhere where there's fresh water here in Florida, just presume there is an alligator in there. Awesome creatures. <clears throat> so yeah, we're learning all kinds as we go along. All kinds. So you've got alligators in the water here, a lot of bass if you love your bass fishing. Not really many catfish, but a lot of bass. Yeah, this is really good fun. Really good fun with the off-road style on the grass and stuff here. You alright there, Laura? Yeah, I'm it. Everyone's having a great time. So I'm going to pop in and out with some info for you as we go around. Yeah, it is very informative. It's not just riding around. You're getting a lot of history and information as we go. And then I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for some nice birds of prey, some wildlife. Yeah, what a gorgeous day to do this gorgeous day it's currently now about 20 degrees perfect temperature for these um, but they're called a muscadine vine um, they produce a kind of a grape like berry um, and they are used to make like jelly or wine um, it's a very interesting flavor it's native to the southeast i'm from tennessee so we have this back home um, but it's a very very kind of like dry taste in your mouth as well. Um, very cultural, I should say. Yeah. They do sell like muscadine wine in Publix. If you ever see oh. one, like while you're visiting, yeah. you grab it. It's Give like it a try, yeah. yeah. It's like $5. It's a very cheap, cheap yeah. thing. Um, and just taste it because it's such a unique taste and I don't like it. <laughs> ah, okay. A lot, people, a lot of people love it and it's just kind of, it's just kind of fun. Uh, my mom's the youngest of eight. So um, let's see, probably her grandmother that I mean, they used to make muscadine jelly and whatnot. So a lot of my old aunts and uncles love it just because they are so they grew up with it. Where kind of my mom and some of the younger ones are like, this is weird. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to get you to try that one, Dad. Flavor that you don't taste kind of anywhere else. Yeah, muscadine wine. There you go. So these are all little muscadine plants. Bring these, grow these little berries on them. Oh, it's really good fun. We've just seen some uh, soon, uh, some birds of prey. They were saying that last year they actually had two bald eagles nesting yeah. here. I One think nests are huge. If you go online and have a look, the nests are. Oh, if you go on YouTube, yeah, like often they set up live cams and you can watch a live cam over one of the nests. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was really cool. As soon as you wouldn't have been able to miss them, really, would you? No, they said there was one as soon as you came in the park. The massive nest. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, this is literally 25 minutes from Disney and something totally, totally different, and a very fair price, I think, for what we've got here. The segways are really well maintained, and you get the proper guide and all the safety gear. And way for the and bustle, isn't it? That's the most important thing. If you just get a bit overwhelmed with all the people, all the hustle and bustle, away from yeah. the lines, if you just come down here for a morning, nature walk, nature segways, horse riding, to total escapism. That's the one, yeah. that's the one. So you could do this instead of an airboat ride or something like that, something totally different. Uh, you can book it online, which is what we did. You pay online. Uh, they do send you then an email with a link to fill in a waiver. You just got to put in your weight and your height and just obviously tick that you've got no serious medical conditions, the usual little waivers. Sign it and that's it, you're good to go. You can fill in the waiver here if you want to, but you save time by doing it online. But look at that for a little view of the lake here. Wow. So here is some of that sour fruit that was mentioned. You can see a couple of them just on the top there. Look a bit like orange, it's like an orange and lemon fusion, but extremely sour, extremely bitter, but I loved it. I love a good sour cocktail. But yeah, you can see some of them. This is what they tried to grow. In the end, they reverted to uh, cutting down all the pine and harvesting pine for timber, which they then did eventually all replant. A lot of it is regrowing. 
but we did see that big historic tree there that wasn't cut down century years old so yeah loads of history as you make your way around and it is nice and comfortable you can see mum and dad here in the 60s dad's had a hip replacement and everything you know they're not super fitness geeks and they don't go to the gym and stretch and all that it's it's just nice and easy this really easy you don't need super balance or anything and it's very relaxing very relaxing So they've done prescribed burns on them. Um, they actually did some, not in this area, but as we keep going, we'll start to see some little char marks throughout just a couple weeks ago, they did a prescribed burn. So, but all things are healthy. The burns are fantastic. Promotes growth, keeps oh, all the it's, fuels. It's oh, absolutely. Yeah, wow. absolutely. I know fires have been in the news a lot this year. So yeah. Yeah. definitely, definitely uh, very important to be proud of that. So, uh, park's definitely on it. So there you go, these are all the replanted ones that they did hundreds of years ago and they actually do prescribed bends on them. The bends are actually good for the trees. So that takes us back to where we live. Tenerife had all those wildfires not so long ago and all those trees up Mount Tadian in the National Park in Tenerife, Canary Islands, where you see them all on fire and you think those trees are all gone. But uh, they actually bend the trees on purpose here as it's good for them. They're right on it and they're all well established these. So. These are all hundreds of years, hundred or so years old, but they still look quite new, don't they? Yeah, well, these are all being replanted to re-establish all the long pine. But yeah, prescribed burns. You wouldn't think that, would you? Setting a tree on fire and burning it. Actually good for the tree, promotes growth and everything. Well, you don't want to run over this. This is a fire ant's nest. Now, if you've seen them online or on YouTube, really nasty bites on them. It actually looks like someone's crawled in there to have a nibble. But yeah, fire ant's nest. Oof. I wouldn't fancy messing with that. So our guide actually also works at Disney full time as well. So she does this as a little bit of an extra, which is nice. I've just picked up one of these fruits. And we're going to try one at the end. We're going to try a little bit. It's not poisonous or anything. But meant to be extremely bitter. It does look just like a little tangerine or a little orange. But yeah, me and Laura are going to try some. I think we should all try some and we'll see just how uh, bitter it is. So I'll put that in my pocket and we'll uh, try that at the end. That's going to be good fun before breakfast. That'll uh, certainly get the taste buds going by the sounds of it. So this is a fallen over oak tree that's still alive. Well, even all the roots are out on the top here. It's been fallen over for years, but it's growing down on the bottom side. Unbelievable. So what she said was it's still growing and uh, the branches actually, they have to trim, trim them every now and again because they grow out onto the pathway. But you can see it's still alive. It's just fallen over. Look at that. So it's been like that for years. It's still growing, still alive and everything, but in a fallen over position. That's really interesting. You'd think it would die, wouldn't you, with all those roots exposed? Look at that, it's still fully growing. Wow. Just by those, those few roots that were left in the ground, it's clinging on years like that it's probably well established now as a fallen over tree it's pretty cool never seen that before so if you watched our previous vlog from uh, last series here at this park i will link that in the description we did have a closer look at these cabins that you can rent and stay in which are quite interesting you can rent them for a night a couple of nights and cook and barbecue and stay in them they look really uh unique and very outdoors style so we did take a closer look at those in our previous vlog a very interesting place to stay for a night or two wouldn't it all lined up here watching a storm over this lake here wow to a pine tree and think it's a long leaf because you know it has this long long needle structure but the interesting thing about it is long leaves will have three needles per cluster so you can see one two three there if it has two it's not a long leaf 
So that's a good way to tell um, if it has the two. Not what it is, it probably just seems like it has long, long pine needles, but really not one. gum trees. Um, this isn't the best example, but they produce these little fruiting pods. Um, and then you can kind of see they're spiky and there's little holes. And so the seeds will pop out of these when they're ready to disperse. But they create this kind of like spiky ball texture on them, which is really fun and unique. And you can always tell there's a sweet gum around when you find these. Um, when I was a kid, my dad and I would go on hikes and then he would pick these up and like we would throw them at each other as well. <laughs> but yeah, you'll see. No, there's a really good one right there. Yeah, that was really good. There you go, yeah. So that's a really, really good example. You can see it's pretty spiky. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a weapon, that? Yeah. Yeah. We would, uh, Ooh, that one is really spiky, but yeah, it um you can see it really well how the seeds pop out right there yeah. and they'll disperse once they hit. Wow. But yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a little bit of a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Wear a helmet when you're throwing yeah. them around. <laughs> So with the guided horse tours, similar to this but on a horse, you've got 18 horses, 13 different types of horses you can ride there. So quite a few different set choices, but yeah, you can do a horseback ride, come and have a little bit of fun on the horses, which is really cool. And then you've also got these eco tents, which you can stay in as well. These cool little eco tents if you want to camp for a night. All obviously ecological, you've got the barbecue, a little water pump and stuff. They're pretty cool if you want to do something different. And you've got people running, cycling. Really, really great park. And literally, as I said, 25 minutes from Disney World. And not a bad drive either. A lot of it was just straight on the Highway 27. No traffic lights and stuff. Nice and easy. You could also probably get an Uber up to here as well, potentially. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely something to come and explore and enjoy. Something different. And these segways are just brilliant. If you've never done a Segway before, you've got to try one. a nice little tip that was brilliant what did you think mum oh, absolutely fantastic loved it i'd do it again now oh yeah mum wants to do it like, can we do it again <laughs> you enjoy it it's just amazing. fab because you're, you're you're off the track a little bit bumpy then it's dead smooth then it just yeah everything. it's a bit and then a bit of different history bit of wildlife bit of uh it's facts about the park yeah. facts about the trees and but there's one more thing before we've got to do and that's to try this little bad boy oh, yeah. i picked one oh, we've got to try one we got to try one. Michelle. I picked it. <laughs> I picked one for them to try. <laughs> You're going to see me pass out. <laughs> We're going to give you a little try. A little They're try. They're not poisonous, are they, Michelle? No. You don't look too sure. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's fine. It's, uh, it was oh, no. semi falling off already, so I nabbed it. It smells delicious. It does smell really good, smelly. It smells wow. really nice, like a little tangerine. Yeah. Oh, the smell is amazing. Yeah. It, it it's is. a Florida smell. That, that is definitely Florida, Florida smell. smell. So try it. You might actually really like it, Dad. Go on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. No, it's up. Sorry, it's up already. Oh, you're putting all your spitty hands all over I, it. Uh, <laughs> Come on, guys. I'm going to try a little bit of Laura's. No, it's the texture that's going to do me in. Oh, no, they're nice. They're a little tiny one. Oh, they are sour. Oh! No, that's not sour at all. You like that? I can't see them catching on. No. <laughs> Maybe squozing the juice in a drink in a cocktail. That's not sour. No? That's no. not sour. No, it's really not, not sour. sour. Oh. No. 
The only Back downside is there's a little pip in every segment. Oh, right. Turn it on yourself. Box that way. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, well, it's all right. Well, well. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all Honestly, right. I promise you. Right. Here so we go. I'm give this a another thing that puts me off is the texture. No, just no, eat for me. Just, just, just give it a good old suck. There you go. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, no, it's <laughs> nice taste. It's okay. It's okay. It is nice. I can... mm. A mix between a lemon and a lime, definitely. No, an orange. No, well. and a tangerine and a. <laughs> I got pip like you. Yeah. Um. No, beautiful. No, if squeezing in a juice in a cocktail, that'd be nice, gorgeous. I love a sour cocktail. Oh yeah, it would be nice in a in a cocktail. Yeah. No, it, is, yeah, it is sour. What the lady was saying was a lot of the Americans get used to those very sweet little ones. You see, in, see them in Starbucks. She in, said they're like a sweet. Like yeah. see them in Starbucks. Yeah. Some of the little packs of four. They're yeah. super super sweet. Right. So to the Americans, they're mega sour. But to us. That's not, that's They're lovely. Not sour at all. Well, that's nice. feels nice now. Made my jowls go. No, it didn't but make mine go. Anything before it, yeah. But that's that's, cool, feels that's gorgeous, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, that was brilliant. Worth every penny. Yeah. Great service. You know, spot on. Gorgeous weather. Breakfast now. Where do we go? We're going to try somewhere new. Or cheese, maybe, or something. Maybe. Or do you want a Perkins? Or yeah, or there's a couple. I'll have a keys, look. Maybe, yeah. Right, yeah. let's have a little well, look. Thank you guys for that. That was wonderful. Well, You're very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Part two coming up. Oh, really, really yeah. enjoyed that. Two. Beat part one. Oh. Well, part two is coming up. Yeah. And it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, so we've decided to come to Keeks or Cax. I think it's Keeks is how you say it. This is in this little new development just opposite Margaritaville. So this will be good. There's some different little restaurants here, Outback Steakhouse, Lazy Dog, etc. Portillo's. Now it could be busy, we'll see. It's not a huge venue, it is peak breakfast time, but we'll see. Let's give this a go. Keeks, a lot of you recommended it again on our Facebook group, which is nice. So thank you for all those recommendations. Night Strider Florida fan group. Right, Keeks breakfast it is, and this is open from 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So here is a little look at the menu then while we wait for a table. It's just 20 minutes wait, uh, which isn't too bad. Shows how popular it is. Uh, we've got omelets, we've got pancakes, you've got waffles. You can create your own uh, different uh, little breakfast here with meats and sides and stuff. We've got eggs your way, chicken and waffles, French toast. So you'll notice a lot of the menu, breakfast menus are very similar, aren't they? Your Perkins, your Danny's, all of those very similar. Ooh, paninis. Get a cheese stick panini. This is more lunch, so this is after 10.30. So we can actually have uh, breakfast or lunch, which is nice. So the breakfast is on all day. The lunch is any time after 10.30. So we can have a sandwich wrap, buffalo chicken wrap, tuna melt, different beverages, fresh squeezed orange. You'll find a lot of the things in our kitchen, like the coffee ground in-house, hand-cracked eggs, fresh fruit cut to order, real butter, whipped cream that you won't find in a microwave. So yeah, they believe in, you know, making things from scratch and things being a bit more homemade. There you go, good little look at the menu. Looking forward to this, Eggs Benedict, all the different sides. Okay, so what have we got here then? I've got a Sprite, Dad's got a coffee, but what have you also got? A cheeky celebratory M birthday. birthday mimosa for mum. Mum's already made hers. I like the way it comes with your own little bottle of uh, fresh, fizzy barefoot. Yeah, you've had their wine before, Dad, on the cruise and liked it. Yeah, it's popular in America. What have you got, Laura? Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Yeah, all chocolate milk in America. Love it. I've just got a Sprite. I don't do that. Those coffees aren't me. I just don't do them. Well, cheers, happy birthday, Mum Strider. Hey, cheers to finding Yay. your phone. Not. No. <laughs> no news from Uber yet. I thought you were about to give me some news. Then. I wish. Well, I've got to say, so far, really good service. We only waited five minutes for a table. And I'm loving how clean it is. There's no weird smell in here. No, no. If no that makes sense, to got, uh, there's like an American diner smell, isn't there? It's there's like a Perkins it's, smell. Do you know what I think it is as well? well it's not a bad smell. It's carpet. Yeah, carpet it's smell, carpet. yeah. No carpets in here. 
a nice granite top and stuff. The others don't smell bad, they just have a smell. Yeah, they're nice. You know, we had a good service and it's nice and calm in here. It's not yeah. super noisy, it's not mental chaotic. I'm impressed so far, I hope the food Should is, be. Uh, matches it's up. Highly the, recommended. Uh, Enjoying yourself there? No. Just love I'm lights. I just love looking light. at lights oh. and touching them. Because it's like frosted down the bottom. Yeah. So it doesn't glare in your face. Wow, you're going to order one? I just love lights. I wish you'd have got me a light instead of the Segway <laughs> tour. Get that mimosa down there. It's your I birthday. Am. I'm currently talking to uh, Uber Support, trying to contact the driver for Dad's phone, so we'll see how we get on with that. To be fair, Uber, very responsive on the uh, live chat. You get connected very quickly to an agent. And you just put in your route and stuff and what happened. So they've been pretty good so far. Let's see uh, what happened. We've uh, checked and verified the accounts. Further regarding the trip, we believe you lost your item. Okay. Let's see what they say. Uh, we still haven't heard or received any update response from the driver. Okay, that's not good, is it? Okay, so here's my chicken and waffles. Look at that with the cream on the side. Wow, there's Dad's omelet. Look at that. Mums, what have you got there, Mum? Raspberry cream cheese filled French toast. Raspberry cream cheese filled French toast with a yeah, side of bacon. Cream Laura? Cream. I've got a Philly cheese steak omelette. Philly cheese steak omelette? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> got a friend who wants to come in for some breakfast. Look at him. <laughs> I think he fancies some, I know. I think he fancies some breakfast, doesn't he? Hello. His eyes are red and orange. I know, it's stunning, isn't he? I think I get the idea that someone's been feeding him. He's come for his breakfast. Right, well, that was uh, Mum's birthday breakfast all done. A keeks, it was nice, good atmosphere, nice and clean. Very clean. Yes. Not the cheapest, especially if you had mimosas on. <laughs> uh, so it was a hundred dollar breakfast. That my waffles were fifteen, side of bacon's five fifty each. But it was nice. Uh, Laura did send her omelet back. The the steak in the omelet wasn't great, was it? It, it literally looked like. Dog food. It was, looked a bit like dog's so I just dinner. I didn't even want to eat it, and then the um, omelet was just a bit overcooked. Yeah, so, so just the mix of that two mm. wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't for me. They knocked it off the bill, but the, you had the same one in Perkins, didn't you? you had like proper nice pieces of well, steak in it. Well, I had an omelet yesterday, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It's the best omelet I've ever had in, out here. Then he had a steak dish for breakfast in Perkins, and it was real chunks of steak, and it was beautiful. Yeah, that didn't. It didn't look the best, but. No. Uh, but they knocked it off the bill, and that's it, no problem. If you don't really yeah. like it, they, you, there was nothing else Laura really wanted, so they knocked it off the bill, and it was no problems. They were dead apologetic. Yeah. But yeah, overall, good breakfast, worth a try. Not the cheapest. It's not going to be as cheap as your Denny's and that, but it was nice. Nice atmosphere. Something different mm -hmm. as well, because that's some different options that you wouldn't get in your Denny's and your Perkins and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And so. it was good that you, after half ten, you could eat lunch, and other people could have breakfast. If, so if someone wanted pancakes and stuff... But someone else wanted like a lunch, like a burger or something like that. You could do it. But uh, right, we're gonna uh, I think head back to the villa maybe for a little bit of a relax. rest. Yeah, yeah relax. Mm. We all need a bit of a chill now. A bit of chill, and early. then it's part two coming up later oh, on. I need to trace my phone. We've done it. We've done all we can, Dad. That's it. That's all I can do is oh. message Uber. They got back to us and said they still couldn't get hold of the driver calling him, and they've sent him another message on his Uber app. And that's all we can do is now sit and wait. They've been given Mum's number. Or he's been given mum's number to call mum. But whether he'll want to do that though, because mum's number is English. So it's going to cost him to call, but he's going to get money if he's got it. We'll happily pay him to come and drop it off. But we'll see. We'll see. But they're still not being able to get hold of him. They've rang him three times now, last night and twice today. And he's just not answering. So we'll see what happens with that one. Well, we've had a little break. We're out and about again. Yeah. Take two. This is part two now. We've had a little break. I've done a load of editing. Laura's had a little chill and a nap. Dad's had a nap. Mum's been chilling. I don't Are you ready for take two? I think so. 
Depends what take two is. No, but you've had a big hint because we have to make sure that we you add your passes. Oh, that could be for later on after this take two. Well, well, Laura's got her pass on as well, but you don't know what's going on though, do you? I have no idea what's going on. Right, well, right. we'll get there and then explain a bit more. I just okay. want to say. Dun, dun, dun. We've made sure they're nice and warm, brought all your warm gear. Yep. I just, just want to say, if you haven't got an iPhone, you haven't got an iPhone. Yes, yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> uh, contacted Uber twice more throughout the afternoon. They can't get hold of the driver. Um, so they've sent him another message. I mean, who doesn't check their phone for 16 hours? I don't know. They've sent him another message. So we'll see again if he gets back to us. But that's now four phone calls and four, three messages he's been sent in 16 hours. So a little bit strange. Hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe when he clocks on for a shift a bit later, he'll see them. Maybe he's got a work phone. I don't know. But yeah, no response yet, unfortunately. So dad's phone is still AWOL. Uh, but for now... Let's get driving, get to our destination, oh. and we'll explain a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so we are approaching said theme park. Yeah. So it's pretty unavoidable. We're heading to Universal, aren't we? Yeah. Laura's got her lanyard on, you've got your passes. So, Mum and Dad, tell me what you're thinking now. I've just got no idea. Well, it, we've, none of us have done it. It's extremely limited. Very limited. Uh, no. Yeah. Any ideas? I've got no idea whatsoever. If you will enjoy it. You'll definitely enjoy it. Definitely. I know you're nervous. No. But you were nervous before you found the segways and you love that. No, I can't. I can't imagine. What are you thinking, Paul? Uh, I'm just thinking, like, you're not going to put me in a horror makeup outfit, are you? <laughs> <laughs> we did mention that, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's all you can come up with, a horror makeup show. <laughs> Danny, that's the only ideas you've got. Is it like a, maybe a competition to win a new iPhone? We're <laughs> <laughs> never going to hear the end of this, are we? Not? We're gonna hope, you know what, if the driver clocks on and messages him all way through the night saying they've got his phone, he'll be like a spring chicken. Oh yeah, he'd be jumping up and down all he'll be doing, He'd be doing rocket and stuff if he could. <laughs> Stick me on rocket front row, I've got my phone back, yay! <laughs> You're not sticking me on Velocicoaster front row, are you? No. No. Actually, if you look right, I'm gonna stick you out in a thunderstorm. I know, yeah. It's getting a bit dark over there. It's Look at that. It's getting a bit dark, you know what I mean? But that's not going to ruin our night, is it? Certainly hope not. No, we're going to have fun. And I know we're all going to enjoy it. So we'll meet you all in a little bit. Let you bit. know when we get parked up. Well, we're all parked and done. We're in Cat in the Hat. I'm still laughing at these two. They look well nervous now. I think that Laura's just said that they're going to get wet. And now they're like, what? <laughs> Oh, I love winding them up. We've got no idea what's going on. No idea. A lot of you will obviously already know by now, but they don't, which is the fun of it. They'll find out soon enough, find out soon enough. And I'm going to give you all of the details as well, because uh, you never know, you might be able to do it when you're here. Well, yeah, a lot of people already know. You'll already maybe seen it on Instagram or seen it in the thumbnail or whatever. But yeah, I'll give you all the details in a little minute. Okay, so, time to reveal what we're doing. Are you any final thoughts? You found me phone. No. Well, no. I Go on. I looked at who, what bands were on, and there's not none today. Oh, right. you've been trying to sneak. Oh, sneak. look, no, you've been sneaky, you no, little no, slithery no, little. No, <laughs> no, right. So, tonight. For one night only. For one night only. <laughs> It's a very special event, yeah. okay, yeah. called the Orlando Informer Meetup, right? Yeah. Very limited numbers. Yeah. We get access to both parks, exclusively to us, from 7 till half past 12 at midnight. Very limited numbers. Everything's open. Hagrid's, Velocicoaster, all of that. Not only that. You can eat and drink as much as you want. Everything's included, so any stand you want to go to, 
hot dog, pretzel. You want 10 hot dogs, you can have them. 10 drinks, you can have them. Anything you want. Wow. So special event across both parks. Nice and quiet. Loads of rides. Hagrid's in the dark. All of that good stuff. Wow. So there you go. Oh. So you can go in anytime. Basically, um, you can get your credentials anytime from three o'clock. You can access the parks if you're just coming in for the Orlando and form a meetup from five o'clock. We've got regular tickets, so it doesn't matter. Then the event technically starts at seven. So from seven o'clock, everyone's kicked out and it's only us with credentials that can stay and do the rides and everything. So it's like after hours, private events. So yeah, if, you, if you're just doing this, you've got to pick up your credentials. And then tonight it does say on the email that you've got to enter into Islands of Adventure. But I think it, with being us having passes to both, it doesn't matter which we enter. I think we'll check when we go and speak to them. We've got to pick up our tickets yet with my ID and my email. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Both parks. <laughs> Hagrid again. It should be a it should be a low weight. We've never done it before, but it should be a low weight from what I've seen. And it'll be in the dark. And Velocity Coaster in the dark, and it should be quiet. And you can get your drinks, your snacks, whatever you want. Yeah, you can literally go up and go, I'll have some popcorn, please. There's no charge at any of them. So all those little food and drink stands, you see, everything's free and included. So the park closes at seven? Park closes at seven to everyone else, and we've got it from seven till half 12 at midnight. <laughs> Whoa. So there you go. You excited? Tomorrow, then, no, it's going to be a busy night. That's why I rested you up. You've had no parks yesterday. We did the segways today, but that wasn't walking around or anything. So planned it, especially, just so happened that it fell on your birthday. Yeah. It's today and tomorrow only, that's it. Right. And then there's not another one for like six months. These are once every like six months. Yeah, yeah. Did I get on my birthday? <laughs> yeah special events, you excited, Laura? I'm really excited. I've been, we wanted to do this for ages. I have a week to be seeing yeah. that looks amazing, but it's never on or we've missed it by like a week or whatever. So yeah, this time and then we looked. On, your birthday, so we thought, let's oh, just perfect. It. it was so perfect, got to take it for your birthday. So you'll get to ride Hagrid's, which is mum's favourite ride. Yeah. You can't ride it in the daytime. It's always so busy, like two hour waits. Should be nice and uh, easy this tonight. I got a walk around Christianos Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> and a double Soberano with half a order. Well, I know, mum's been, mum's been spoiled here, you know. So this is obviously a separate ticketed event. You, if you look on the website, it tells you what dates are the, the next events. You buy the tickets, that includes entrance to the parks. It doesn't include your parking, so you would have to pay $30 normally if you just come into this. But obviously we've got annual passes, so our parking was included. And uh, yeah, there you go. Let's go and get the uh, credentials. So I've never, we've not been before. From what I've seen, the crowd levels are low. So it, it's normally dead limited, so it should be really low wait times, which is going to be good. Bit of Hagrid's, bit of, so we should get a lot of rides done tonight in both parks. No heat, just nice. And have as many snacks and drinks as you want. Go nuts. I'm not sure about alcohol. I'm going to double check all of these little details. But uh, yeah, we will find out. There you go. See, there's an Orlando Informer meetup guy there who gives you some information. I'll go and double check with him what the plan is. Okay, so we followed, there's people all along the walkway with these Orlando Informer signs, so we just followed them along, and I presume we'll get our tickets somewhere around here. The first guy with the sign just said, follow these signs all the way in to uh, pick up your credentials. Okay, so here's our entrance just to the side of Rip Ride Rocket. Look at that, welcome Orlando Informer. I like it, proper big size. Look at that, he's in the mood. That's he's how I feel now. Hey, look, that dance is how I feel. Love it. Hey! Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes, we are. Come on. Thank you. Here you go. He's in a good mood, isn't he? <laughs> next meetups you can see join the next meetup is June seventh to eighth, November fifteenth, sixteenth, November twenty second, twenty third, December sixth and seventh, and December thirteenth and fourteenth. So if you're here for any of those dates, this could be something you, you might be interested in. Yeah, it is a good fun event. A lot of the food and drinks included. Various other things that I will uh, obviously go through when we experience them inside. But yeah, a lot of food and drink. You can just go up, get whatever you fancy. It's all included in the price. 
and not usually very limited numbers so it should be nice and quiet okay so here we go we're gonna get our wristband and then we're gonna go into universal to start with you can start with either park we're gonna do universal because the lady's just made a good point she said if you haven't done the mardi gras parade it's on at 6 15 which isn't far from now so we'll catch that in universal and then we'll head over and we'll do some bits in universal first i think but we've got both parks to uh, explore and uh, enjoy so i'm going to explain everything that's gone on so far in a moment we're just grabbing a quick little snack which is included you've got chili con carne here that can go on top of a hot dog it's all to go on top of a hot dog which i've got there and have a little cheeky hot dog okay so we're all checked in and got our credentials i'm going to go through that in a moment we just grabbed ourselves a little uh, brunch i've got a little spring roll with rice we've had hot dogs as well just to start us off yeah. then we're going to head into universe and catch the parade but yeah we're all checked in we've got our little wristbands and stuff you got punch getting given out there and then you can buy cocktails and alcoholic drink as well there you go mum's even got a little birthday badge so we're all celebrating their birthday which is fantastic check-in was dead easy it was about a 15 minute wait yeah, just show you really, id really quick guy was really helpful really nice yeah yeah just make sure you have your email and your id and then they have the, the tickets there ready to go for you which is nice and simple yeah. and then you get one of these orange wristbands show it there there you go, everyone gets one of these orange wristbands. Mm -hmm. And then they do give you an event uh, pamphlet, which has got all the restaurants that are open during the event, what you can get, where you can get it. Some restaurants open at seven, the majority open at eight, yep. the eateries. I don't want to fill up now. No, no, don't fill up now because there's, there's little, proper, the, the... you can get butter beer, all kinds and Harry Potter. <clears throat> uh, or, yeah, you don't want to fill up too much on these little hot dogs. These are just little quick things, but nice. yeah, you get proper fresh. Snack I'd like food. to see it as well, it was nice on the little touch, it says it, McGarvey exclusive. Alright, nice, nice, McGarvey exclusive nice wristband. Know. Nice to know, you know. So I can't film too much behind, that's why I didn't film the checking process, because this is all backstage. So I can film in here, but I can't film outside, just this, in this backstage area. This is strange, because this is where the Horror Nights takes place. Yeah, normally there'd be a Horror Nights maze in here. Oh, a big maze in here, and, yeah. you know. Massive area, but you'd be walking around. Oh, yeah, yeah, zigzagging in and out and stuff. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? You can actually see all the markings on the floor, probably from all the different walls and stuff that used to be in. Which makes me think, where do they store all that Horror Night stuff? Well, they make it new every year, pretty much, a lot of it. Yeah, it's all wow. newly made, all newly themed. So, if you don't want to carry a map around, you can scan the QR here and get it all on your phone. Now, we're heading into Universal to catch that Mardi Gras parade and then we'll get on some rides and get going. Uh, really, really excited for this. I'm gonna show you in the map. There is so much you can do, so many sweets and treats and food you can try. We can go and get Butterbeer and Harry Potter, all of these different places and it's all included. So, uh, the park will look a little bit busy as we head in because bear in mind, regular guests are still able to be in here. Once it hits seven, all the regular guests uh, they don't get kicked out but they're not allowed to ride any more rides and they all start heading home but i want a quick picture in front of the informer meetup sign first so when you get your tickets as well you do get a, a little regular ticket which is a two-part pass that gets scanned but look at the little little, little, little wallet you get with it it's nice Hello, isn't it super cute it's got a nice little wallet to carry it around with i'm going to show you all of this pamphlet in a minute yeah, that's really cute. Nice, isn't it? Have I like the way they had the badges safe. ready as well. Mum's desperate for a t-shirt, but you do have to pre-order them normally. We'll oh, see if there's one safe. around. Yeah. But Mum loves the t-shirts. But yeah, I like the way you've got all the badges and free drinks and a hot dog already before we've even started. It's lovely, the punch, isn't it? It's that orange mango, dead refreshing. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. So you excited for this? So there'll still be people in the park until like seven o'clock is going to really, when it's really sort of just kicks in just for us then so there'll still be regular guests in universal here for the parade but after that we should be uh, all us okay so we've got our position for the parade coming up to 6 15. Uh, now at seven o'clock is obviously when the event starts and that is when uh, obviously all the rides will be just for the orlando informer meetup guests uh, that includes basically every single ride there's no ride that isn't on so after the parade after we enjoy We'll get some stuff done in this park that we haven't done yet this trip, yeah. including this one, the new Minions Blast, that mum and dad haven't done. So we'll do some stuff in here in Universal, and then we'll head across to Islands of Adventure. We'll get ourselves a little Vossi coaster. Oh, yeah. A little Hagrid's with your beard. 
Yeah, a little Hagrid's in the dark. A little Velocity Coaster in the dark. He said that it gets to maximum it gets to is about half an hour. But I think do it later in the dark anyway. So I think we'll be fine. And the Velocity Coaster basically no wait. And now while Laura's got the pamphlet open, I'm going to show you exactly what is going on in here. So here are all the attractions that are open in Islands of Adventure. And now queues may close 15 to 30 minutes be before the attractions close. So uh, what the man was saying was er everyone's got to be done and off Hagrid's by 12. Yes. Now that doesn't... Mean in the line by yeah. that means out. Done, the off, line, finished. Out. So they could close at half 11 or even quarter past 11. Yeah, so do bear that in mind, yeah. Uh, so these are all the rides. Basically, absolutely everything is open. And then if we turn it over... You can see a little bit more info. So here is all the dining options. So look at all this dining that you can do in all the different, like Harry Potter, we can go and have shepherd's pie, fish and chips. Uh, you, can have, you can have a butter beer. You can go to Hogshead and have uh, pumpkin juice. All of this stuff that, you know, normally you would pay real good money to try. We can just try for fun, yeah, basically, amazing. which is fantastic. All these different restaurants are open. And then this just gives us some general information. So the main restaurants open at eight, there's a few that open at seven, and the restaurants will close by half 11, and the snack carts will be open until 12.30, which is fantastic. So you can even grab a snack on your way out. And then all the different entertainment, like the Blues Brothers show is on in here, 10 and 11, so you can catch the Blues Brothers in the dark. How cool is that? You the Rapture Encounter, which you can normally never get anywhere near. So the arcade is on free play. There you go, so in the in the Marvel Superhero Land next to Doctor Dooms, you can just play as many of them as you want for free. So really, really good event. Yeah, it's very limited, we're very, very lucky to be here. Make no mistake, we're very thankful that we're able to do it. Bring more money a birthday and everything. It is a special treat, of course. But yeah, it uh, shows you absolutely everything. Basically, everything's open. Most of the restaurants are open. They're completely free. You can go in and order five bags in a row if you want. Yes. You can go and try 10 butter beers. You can do Whatever as much you like. as you want. So here comes one of the main Mardi Gras floats. Now you could actually you could actually pay to go on these and they'll be the ones to chuck the beads out at people. But uh, it was all sold out when we looked. But yeah, bear in mind, if you come and join Mardi Gras, you can pay to go on these floats and uh, throw the beads. Really good fun for the family. Here you go. Whee! Oh, they aim for your they aim for your arm. Here we go, here we go. Hey, hey. Here we go. Hey, hey. Oh, there's more coming. What an atmosphere. Here you go. You got enough there yet, Laura? Come in eh? They're ignoring me. They don't like you. They don't like me. But you look too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dad, that's you if you find your phone there. <laughs> that's that's, 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 that's <laughs> Come on, give her those beads. Laura's loving it. Look how many she's got already. 
Oh, these haven't got many beads left. Oh, there's something going on. <laughs> there's even more coming. There's more on the way. Ah, uh, it's a really well themed this one. I like this one the best. This looks really good with all the glitter on it. And they just keep coming and coming. There are loads of them. Loads of them. And there's some, some people and kids down here that have got probably about 20 sets of beads already. Oh, the atmosphere is amazing, enjoying it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's look, a at all, look at all your beads. I've, I've managed to get some. <laughs> the costumes are unbelievable. Oh, yeah, you've got none. Look at them. Look at all that. I've got more on the way. You doing all right there, Mum? Hey! How many have you got? About seven or eight. Not bad. Come on, get this, get this next car, get them in. They just keep coming and coming, there are loads of them. And in between each float are all these really good dancers all dressed up. Really good fun. So, parade all done, we're heading on Bill and Con Blast, just for Mum and Dad to try for the first time. Dad, you've enjoyed the parade there? The costumes were fantastic. Yeah. The floats were awesome. Atmosphere amazing. Oh yeah, all screaming for and the beads. And beads. There you go. And uh, you've got a few as well, didn't I you, Mum? I'm do a swap with Dad for a pink one. To match your outfit. To match the colours. Laura, enjoy that, you got enough I there? 23. 23. 23 set to be, it was really good though. The, the floats and the costumes and the enthusiasm in the dancers and really was electric. So, Bill and Con Blast then, ton of a second time ever doing this. So, uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a go a second time. First time I did it, didn't go so well, my gun didn't work. So, and this is a straight walk on. Like Mum and Dad's first time doing this. So, what did this used to be? What did this used to be? There you go. Used to be Shrek. So what this this is like a moving conveyor belt that you stand on, you stand still, Don't and it moves me. you around. No, you've got, to, you've got to tell I'm telling you what you've got to do. You stand on the conveyor and you're shooting at the screen. You get given a gun. Right. You don't move on your conveyor, you just stay in the same spot and it moves you around. It's good fun. Good fun. I just hope my gun works this time. Look at this. It's a good little setup. The theming is really good in here. Loads of different bits to look at. I'm um, well in the mood for tonight now. That's really, what a great start to the night that was. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, it'll be really good on Velocity Coast for them, won't they? Yeah, it'll be really good, won't they? <laughs> okay, so just going to pick up our blaster. There we go. And then we uh, head on in. So you get given a separate blaster that you give back at the end. And then we're going to uh, get on the conveyor here. There you go, you stand on. And we're going to uh, get the screen, score some points. So I must say, as a colourblind, as someone who's colourblind, I just cannot see where my target is, what I'm shooting. I just, I can't quite grasp it. It's working, but I just, I don't know, how do I know what symbol is mine? 
and where am I on the screen? I find it really hard to see where I am. I love this screen at the end with the uh, Universal entrance and the globe and everything. Struggling though, very, very hard. For me with my eyes, so many things on the screen, so many people playing, it's hard to know where you're shooting, in my opinion. Okay, so, Laura won. I must say, I'd rather play it first thing in the morning when it's empty, because there was too many dots on the screen for me to know what was happening, especially with the colour blindness. What did you think? Mayhem. It was, there it is, Mayhem. I think it's, when it's busy, it's so hard to see what's going on. No, nor did I. There's not much of a box, there's not much of a backstory though to tell you that, is there? There's no like, you're doing this to save this. It's, it is, it, it's a bit of shooting fun. I think it is good for the kids. But yeah, I struggle, my eyes struggle, especially with the colour blindness, to see which one I am. Very noisy as well. Yeah, well, we've done it. Done it. Done it. Oh, Great start to the night. It's not even seven o'clock yet. Uh, now, I stopped here just because, Dad, this was you when you realised you'd lost your phone. I know. I know. And that's you now as you're just losing <laughs> your mind without it. And that's definitely Dad morning to evening. Come back at noon. Yeah. yeah. Come back at noon with my phone. <laughs> did, you, did you take any pictures in there? Did you get any pictures of the parade or? Did you get, did you get to take any videos of the, the parade now? No? no? Could I? <laughs> I love winding him up. I love winding him up. It is banter, guys. It is banter. A lot of people don't understand our banter. Uh, I've been bantering him all day over it. If you don't laugh, you cry, don't you? Right, here we are then in Universal at night. It feels very strange to not be in Halloween Horror Nights right now. Uh, now, here's one ride we haven't done that we want to do, and that is Transformers. Straight down on the left. Hey, I, can, I should be one of the. I should be one of the guides. I just need one of those big lanterns. Yeah, the light up stick. That'd be me. Right, let's go and get a bit of Transformers on then. Well, aren't these crowd levels just heaven? And a lot of these people are just heading for the exit. They're done for the day. They're not allowed to ride any rides now after seven if you've not got your informer band. But this is lovely, lovely walking around. You can see in the distance as well. They've got the Informer logo on the uh, Men in Black building over there. There you go, That's nice good. touch. Has just started to rain, so fingers crossed, everyone. It'll be just our luck that uh, you know Velocity Coaster and Hagrid's go down with the rain. But uh, ah, okay, right, we're closed. All oh, right, okay, so Transformers isn't on. Right, Transformers isn't on. Let's head to Harry Potter then, or the Mummy. Okay. Okay, it's not closed. It's closed to regular guests, not to the informers. There you go, now I know. That's funny. I didn't realise it was there. Uh... So it says closed, obviously, for the regular guests. It's just hit seven. So they'll all say closed, I think. Right. I wonder what was going on then. It's time to protect the all spark, okay? You ready? I am ready to protect this all spark. There you go. Mission time. Company. Now, put on your glasses. Looking good. Ready, Dad? All good to go. So, if anyone sees trouble. Uh oh, that's trouble, alright. Watch out! It's Rabbit! He's after the Allspark! Your bravery saved the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. Well, we've protected the all spark. We were freedom fighters. And there you go, it's been raining while we're in there, and it's not now. <laughs> so, perfect. Right, we are now heading to the mummy. And then from the mummy, we are heading to Gringotts Bank, I think, Harry Potter. And then, I think the plan is to get the train across to Ireland of Adventure then, I think. So what was the sequence? Mummy, Gringotts, Harry Potter, then the train. So we're gonna cut through that street there. 
Now what's interesting is, I did, I think I'd mentioned this earlier, there's loads of street performers and all those usual little shows that are on in the day are on in the night. So for example, the Blues Brothers, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. They're on at 10 and 11 o'clock at night. That's pretty cool. Blues Brothers out at night. Wouldn't expect that, would you? Uh, they've got the, the Frog Singers outside Harry Potter. They're on at 11 p.m. as well and little bits like that. So even the street stuff is still going on. Well, this is nice lit up. I do wish, I'm sure a lot of you will agree, these events aside, I'm sure a lot of you do wish that some nights, every few months maybe, the Universal and Islander Adventure would stay open for, you know, just a few nights a week until 11 p.m., you know? Sometimes like the Magic Kingdom does at cost, you know, nine, 10 o'clock at night because when it goes dark, it's a completely different feel to the park. I think closing at, at seven is a little bit early. Uh, it's now raining, as you can see. That's why I'm squinting. But yeah, I do wish just a few nights a week they'd stay open, you know, a couple of hours in the dark for people. I think it'd be really good. Let me know your thoughts on that. But yeah, we're gonna head on uh, Mummy, which has got no weight. So I just wish it wasn't raining. <laughs> no magi, no service. <laughs> I do love this ride. Again, this ride, although it's indoors and it's dark in the day, feels a different ride at night for some reason coming in from the dark, riding in the dark. Everything's just got a different feel when it's dark outside. Right, you ready for this, Laura? I am very excited. I do love the movie. It has started raining outside, which I'm hoping is gonna go off so it doesn't affect Velocicoaster or Hagrid's. Oh, excuse me. Oh, right, hey, excuse me. Right. Mummy time. Oh, look at that. Interesting. <laughs> well, this is literally just pretty much a straight walk on, which is fantastic. Uh, just to say as well, if you're thinking of maybe trying to sneak into this event or stick around, you've got no chance there checking the bands all the time in the lockers, on the entrance to the ride, everywhere they are checking. We've had our orange band checked uh, about five times in the last 20 minutes. So they're really on it with that. Which is, which is good, I like that, I like that. Obviously you've paid a good price to come in, you wanna be, you know, exclusive. smooth that actually compared to when we rode it the other day enjoy that laura i always enjoy that ride yeah i think near the front made a bit of a difference it was so. well it was good that really good it's probably right in the mood that now being a good so what we've done transformers and mummy um by it's 20 to 8 so 40 minutes we've done those two oh and villain con so three rides already in 40 minutes it's not bad going, we're going to have a little drink now, I think a little bit of a refreshment. A little drinky somewhere. And then I think it's Gringotts time. I think Richie's... Got to escape from the bank. Yeah, Richie's burger place is open to get a refill there, a little coke just there. Oh, okay, nice. I'll double check. If not, there's plenty of staff around to ask where we can uh, get a bottle of drink or whatever. Because it is all included, so fill your boots. What do you think so far then, Dad? Brilliant, look at the park. You know, it's like... Um, it's, it's heaven, isn't it? Heaven. Yeah, Absolute it's heaven. There's still a lot of these people are just heading home, but look at that in the, in the rain lights. Stunning. It's just a different feel at night and you don't get to experience it at night in Universal, apart from Horror no, Nights, do you? It, exactly, because it's shut so early. But, um, no, it's getting emptier and emptier. It's lovely, isn't it? So, it's a little, little drinky. And on to the next, eh? Where are we going to go? Harry Potter? Harry Potter next, and then we'll get the train across. All the stuff that's rammed in the day. 
it all done it nice. Is, is there nothing else in this park though that we need to do? Um, well, we could do Jimmy Fallon as well if you wanted to do Jimmy Fallon, which is just there with a zero minute wait. So look at this, we've got Orlando Informer on there, that looks amazing. And we've got a DJ, we've got a drink stand getting set up. Love it, awesome. So we've just come into Rich's Burgers and uh, Laura's going to get a nice gluten-free burger. I might grab a little cheeky burger while we're here since it's included. Why not, you know? And this one does open a little bit earlier. This one's opened at uh, 7. The rest of the restaurants all open at 8. So here's Laura's gluten-free burger. I've demolished mine. It was absolutely gorgeous. One of the nicest, freshest burgers I've had. Nice chicken sandwich, all piping hot as well, isn't it? And nice fries. Yeah, really nice and hot, fresh fries. Well, it's all included, so we're going to fill our boots tonight, aren't we? <laughs> well, we've all just enjoyed a little bite. We've all just enjoyed whatever fountain drink you want. They've got the full selection. I've just got myself a Powerade grape to try, which is stunning. Probably had about $40, $50 worth of food there. Apple pies and everything. We're actually going to pop back to Finnegan's because I've made a note in my phone about the bread pudding was meant to be phenomenal. So bread pudding, then a bit of HP. HP. No, Harry Potter. Oh, okay. uh, you're with it now. Bit of Harry Potter, bit of train across. How was that gluten free burger, Laura? And that looks like chocolate ice cream, that. It's milkshake, but it's got no straws anywhere. Ah, right. Yeah, it's gonna have to get It's like more like chocolate ice cream, that. Yeah, it is chocolate ice cream, but it melts. Nice. Gorgeous, yeah. Right, let's pop to Finnegan's, fill your boots. Okay. What, must have, what do you reckon that would have cost? Oh. What, $50? $50 or so at least? And we've actually eaten it all. Look at that, all the lights. Right, back to Finnegan's. I'm loving it. Because the walkways are so clear, you can actually see all the puddles on the floor and all the reflections in the puddles, which makes it look even more stunning. Uh, loving it, loving it so far. Getting our money's worth as well with the food and everything. Perfect little day for mum's birthday. The rain's clearing up as well. Should stop fully raining by uh, 10 o'clock. Right, let's go and get another little bite now. There you go, even the DJ's just giving us a little weather update. So guys, it looks like the rain's gonna be stopping in the next half an hour, so great news. And they're good park to be in when it's raining, loads of indoor rides here. I love it, love the atmosphere. Unreal, unreal, so lucky. You know what, I don't even mind it's raining. No, because you're not, you know, battling past people with umbrellas and that, yeah. this is just lovely. So here we are then, Finnegan's. I've never been in here in my life, but uh, I saw the bread pudding looks amazing. Let's see if we can get one. Finnegan's Bar and Grill. Here we go then, I wanted to try this. Ever saw, since I saw it in one of the vlogs, this is the bread pudding. This looks good, doesn't it? It looks amazing, yeah, with that hot, um, fresh, it looks like custard or white chocolate sauce. It looks amazing, let's give it a go. So, how is it? It's very nice. And it's got like a taste to it that I can't... Nutmeg. Cinnamon. Cin it's got cinnamon in it. Bit of a cinnamon taste, so I'm not oh a big cinnamon God. fan. So it does remind me a bit of like a breaded version of a cinnamon roll. Yeah. Glad I've tried it. Wouldn't come in and buy it, just because I'm not a big cinnamon fan, but the texture of that is quite nice. Oh good, that custard on top is beautiful, it's really nice, it's really like vanilla -y. like a vanilla sauce isn't like it? Like a vanilla, white chocolate, yeah. cream sauce, it does look very inviting, I'm sure through the camera you all want to try some, it's very moist, it is nice but the cinnamon should put me off a little bit. So there's a few nice little pop-up bars around and as I said no one's going nuts like at Hover Nights, it's just there, they're available, you can have one. Is that you could actually have a, a number as well. There's an Orlando Informer number. So you can that text them with any questions? Anytime you're in here, just text them with a question. They Amazing. answer you in a text straight away. So if you're wandering around going, where's the nearest place I can grab a burger and buy Hagrid's or whatever, they'll text you with where to go, what you can get, anything, anything you want to ask, you can just text them, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's a very calm atmosphere in here. Very calm, it's not chaotic. So there's King's Cross Station, we'll be going on that shortly across to Ireland. But first of all, we're taking a trip to London. Now look at it in here, just coming in, you can see so many details. I never knew 
Laura, that his eyebrows move and everything. If you watch his eyebrows, you can see so much more detail when it's this quiet. And it, yeah, I know there's details you miss all the time. Is he about to go? Is he? Oh, he's getting grumpy. Look at it. See the difference at night time though, without a blue sky behind it. Look at it. It's incredible walking around in the dark. You're going to hear that word all the time in this vlog. If someone wants to count how many times I say the word dark. <laughs> but I do think it makes a massive difference. Massive difference. A lot of people agree. But walking around, see all these details, soak it all in. Great time to get all your pickies as well for the gram. Now, if you've watched any of our series, you know that we love this ice cream parlor and I can't resist they're giving away hot fudge sundae it's got to be done it's got to be done look at this in here <laughs> oh yes oh it's chocolate ice cream but oh look at it though oh, I'm gonna have to get a little tub we're going for it YOLO oh I can't resist can't resist look at it you've got the soft serve in the middle You've got the scooped as well. You've got chocolate, huckleberry, apple, ooh, butterbeer. Okay, we'll get one of them to try. You've got chocolate chili, cottage cream, ooh, sticky toffee pudding. Ooh, I'm gonna get a. Is this the sticky toffee, this one, yeah? Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 are you ready for that? What do you think then, Laura? This is the butterbeer soft serve. Is it nice? You know what, if butterbeer tastes this good, I've been missing out all this time. I will not be happy. Well, we're gonna try a butterbeer when we go across to Ireland. Dad, what do you get there, butterbeer? Mm. Nice, soft serve. Give it a try, Mum, go on. You gotta give it a little nibble. I wanna see what you think of this, the butterbeer ice cream. And I've gone for a, uh, what was it, sticky toffee? Sticky toffee butter. Different. Different? Yeah. Well, I've gone for a sticky toffee scoop. So we'll give that a try. Hey, when do you get to try any of this sort of stuff? All included, look at it. And you can just keep going up and getting more and more ice cream. Uh, huckleberry. So it'll be like a berry flavour. Nice. Okay, so. Yeah, and a oh. It's like vanilla ice cream with the, with the sticky toffee, you know, like yeah, yeah. the sticky toffee cake in it is, it is almost a bit off. Oh, that's not good, is it? I don't think it is off. So it's because it's being frozen. Because it's frozen, it feels like an off texture. Yeah. 50-50 mm. with that one. You have to give my butter bean a try. The cake texture I struggle with with that one. Lovely, lovely taste, flavour, but... What do you think? It's nice, I can't believe... Really... Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I know. It's kicking in now, the flavour's kicking in. <clears throat> yeah, it's really good, isn't it? That tastes like I expected that to taste. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's almost caramelly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the sticky dust, that's, that's way better than that. I know. Mm. All right, don't take it. <laughs> See, I've never ever noticed these stairs that lead up to that alley. I've never seen that or noticed that before. This is normally all full of people. All these details you don't normally see. There's Hagrid's bike. Oh, this is heaven. And I've got to say, the temperature, it probably looks quite cold on the camera. The temperature is gorgeous tonight. I'm just loving today. I don't know whether you can tell. I am loving every minute. Loving it. Well, Mum's loving taking in all these details that you don't normally get to see. Like, look at these moving in the window, making a noise. Wow. Yeah, don't normally get to see all this. The bird. Have you seen inside as well? The mouse in the... Look at that. Running around in the cage in the top. So good, isn't it? I know. All, a lot of this stuff you don't, don't get to see or hear in the daytime. Good, isn't it? Well, it's butterbeer time. 
Let's head in and get ourselves a bottle of beer. Let's give this a try. Again, this is all included. Haven't had a bottle of beer for a long, long time. I tried one when they first came out. Never tried one since. We've got a few. I think they've got the butter beers there and these are something else here as well. So pumpkin juice, butter beer, and I'm not sure what these are on the end here. I'll find out what's in it. Cinnamon mint with berry. Oh, I could get all three to try. Let's get all three and try them. Okay, here we go then. We've got three different drinks for you to try. Starting off. No, don't worry, don't worry, right? Go with that. Give that a try. Let us know what you think. Oh, <laughs> Mum, try. I've tried butter beer. No, that's not butter beer. No. I'll tell you in a second. Oh, look at that. It's all little. Wow. No? Okay, we're not keen on that. Okay, let's try this one then. These are all proper drinks. I'm Just my ice cream. No, no, because no, you'll, you'll get it back. The ice cream flavour will come back. Don't worry. Give that a try. <laughs> okay, let mum give that a try. No one's liking these then. Oh. Oh. Bloody awful. Oh. 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 <laughs> right, okay. Now our last drink, Laura, do the honours and try. Okay, if you can hold that, please, Mum. <laughs> Someone needs to dispose of it. Okay, Laura, give it a try. Little mix. Yeah. Okay, now film me having a try because I haven't tried butter beer. It's funny, I haven't yeah. tried these either. I haven't tried butter beer for years. It's nice. You've got to go a bit of the top as well. It's nice. Yeah, I don't know if there's a right. Oh, we've missed it. We've missed it. That's no problem. Well, nice, isn't it? Here you go, Paul. You've got to get both the white and the... There you go, we saved the best for the last for you. Sorry. That's butter beer. Oh, that's the ice that's cube we've just cube had. Been eating. No, it's nothing like the ice cream <laughs> I've been eating. <laughs> it is. This one. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Try the butter beer one. These have got those little cake balls and the yeah. balls and the boba bottom. balls. That bad. It could do with some ice. It's just it's a bit weird. Cinnamon, no. Why cinnamon? cinnamon? I know. Why cinnamon? I mean, cinnamon. Oh no, it was nice till <laughs> it was nice till the cinnamon aftertaste. Yeah. Keen on the butter beer. No, it's too sweet, too sickly, too weird. Too sickly, gungy. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. There's a couple of alleyways I want to go and pause. Yeah. Just having a little look in Nocturne Alley now. Wow. Salty set. I've not even seen any of this no, detail we've never before. Been in here. Now, all of these markers uh, are where you can use your wands. Did it yeah. pin lights up? Go on, stand in the light, Mum. There you go, it all lights up. Look at that. Good, that. Nice. Oh, look at that. I've never been in here before. Never been in here before. Details just unreal. Unreal. Seen it all behind the counter, Laura. That's a site you never ever see ones that just say ride now. You never see that on the rides anymore. Ride now, which basically means no wait. Escape from Gringotts time. One of my favorite rides, this one, especially in the Harry Potter, Harry Potter rides. This and Hagrid's are the best for me. And the queue line offers so much to look at. Look at. Is you in the morning, Dad? 
<laughs> hey dad look that's you pricing up your new phone <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love to wind them up. What was that? The Weasley's Wildfire Whiz Bangs. Fireworks from my brother's friend George. Bill, what are you doing here? This is my office, Claudette. The question is, what are you doing here? I was about to show our new plans for what? I've just getting the keys. Right. Well, I moved them. All you have to do is ask. Accio Keys. Mm. How did you get in here? We haven't seen well, you. Well, don't let me keep you from your tour. I just need to pick up a few things and I'll be on my way. <laughs> So much detail you don't normally get to see, no. really. No. Do you know how deep we are? About 12 no. miles deep. No. 12 miles? That's what it says, yeah. It's a bit scary, isn't it? Gotta get you find your way out, yeah. Well, that first drop was just unbelievable on the back. Your glasses came off, didn't they, on that first drop? Enjoy that. Awesome, isn't it? That first drop, you know, Laura, gets me every time. But on the back row as well, extra. Yeah, you've got the maximum force of that drop. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's now time to uh, catch a train, I think. We're going to catch a train across two islands of adventure. And we maybe see our friend Hagrid. Yeah. Dad's fancying a bit more of the bread pudding at some point. No, I don't. He's eating, too, he's eating too much. <laughs> well, how about that? For some, Is it real or is it fake? Let me know in the comments. I'll let you know it is real, but doesn't it all suit the backdrop? The real moon peeking through the uh, clouds there, the rain going. Yeah, all the owls there, but yeah, that sky doesn't half add to it. That's what I mean about it being open in the night for a few hours. It doesn't half make a difference. That was pretty cool to see that. Here's somewhere we've never been. The restaurants, they've got cottage pie and I think fish and chips. This is, this is somewhere we've never been in either. Never been in here. There's the cottage pie. Nice. And then the butter beer and those same couple of drinks that we tried earlier water as well it's nice to see the uh the detail though oh what's this like a lemon water is it that one specifically oh it does like this one give it a try like a lemonade this one is our otter's fizzy orange juice oh otter's fizzy orange juice let's give that one a try so that should be five dollars 99 that you're drinking now laura it would be nice that cinnamon sugar. Oh, what is it with the cinnamon? Give it a break with the cinnamon, guys. Uh, the tongue tang lemon squash is the other one that you're drinking. Again, that should be $5.99. Is that more butter beer, is it? Just in a different cup? Ah, that's hot butter beer. Let me give that a try. This is hot butter beer. Ah, it is. Oh, hey, this could be a winner. Let me try the hot butter beer then. Yes. How much should that be? I'm enjoying seeing see what the prices should be. Here you go, your butter beer should be $8.49 and your hot butter beer should be $8.49 as well, so shows you what you're saving. Well, let me tell you, if you're a fan of sweet lattes or, you know, like I get my six pumps in my caramel lattes, 
the hot butter beer. It's very sweet, but it's very good. Laura, I think you've got to have a try. It's not far off the sweetness level of our caramel lattes. Oh try that, you'll love it. Oh. I think you'd like it. Very that's, sweet, but nice, in it? That's innit? dangerous. Nice. Oh, that's, that's It's amazing. good, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Way better hot. <laughs> Way better, innit? Oh, my God. <laughs> How's your uh, what you on the you're on the squash there? Lemon squash, yeah. Nice. It's lovely. Each of those drinks that should be five dollars ninety nine on them, yeah. and that should be eight forty nine. Hot butter beer, that one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dad's no. had enough though. Oh. <laughs> we're going to see Hagrid now. Are we? Yeah. What about the other? Well, we're going on the train. Ride? And then Hagrid's, and then the other Hagrid Harry Potter ride after. Okay. We're having a very Harry Potter themed hour. I'm loving it, but can I just say, I might upset a few subscribers here. Right, go on. I know what you're going to say. People who wear those cloaks, they really need to be in room 101, guys. Oh, okay, you don't, you like, don't, you don't like walking around the cloak thing. Okay. In the black cloaks, it's just not right. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> doesn't you, get you, it don't, you don't. You don't. You've not actually watched all the Harry Potter films either, oh, so you. Your, your point might not be very valid. Oh, look at this, he's about to go. I think. Is he going to blow? He normally does. Is he going to? Oh, maybe not. Go on, carry on what you were saying. I don't walk around the Hulk painted green. I haven't got a Spider-Man outfit to go near Spider-Man. Why do they come in here in clothes? Because it's I like, don't like get it. It's waving a wand and all like it works. <laughs> you just don't get it. No, You're not a fan of the film, right. are you? You just don't no, get it, do you? I don't. I get the whole movie, but why do you want to walk? Because you just it's cloak? fun. You're just getting involved. It's good fun. With Gryffindor. Let me know. Let me know, know in the comments. I'm sitting here in a Disney jersey with a Disney backpack. Is that not wrong? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, Disney's a bigger franchise no. than Harry, Harry Potter. Hey, Potter. Uh, Harry Potter's big. You're going to upset some people in the comments here with the Harry I'm Potter. Sorry, guys, You've not watched all the films, though, have you? No, I must admit, I'm not a huge Harry Potter I'm fan. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. No. Your but nurse he, was a massive Harry Potter fan. Indeed, she was. But I don't think even she'd walk around with a cloak on. <laughs> it's getting in the spirit of things, isn't it? I don't get it. <laughs> don't get it. Here's our bus, the night bus. This is the one. <laughs> Night Strider bus. Hey, look at that. No queue either for your little picture there and your little bit of interaction. Go on, Dad, go over. Go on. Over you go. Hello. 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 Welcome to the night bus. Welcome. What's your name then? Paul. This is Paul. Yeah, well, I'm Paul. I'm Peter Brown. Where are you from, Paul? Liverpool, England. Yeah, man, Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah, man, man. Welcome, brother. We'll bring you all the way down south here. Vacation. Oh, I'm on holiday, are you? Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. Well, we, we go to Liverpool. Do you need a ride home? That would be great. Oh. Yeah, man. Just know whenever you're boom, be right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we won't stop in Liverpool. We'll push you out. All right. right That's yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we lose all the hot cups in Liverpool. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, naughty, naughty. <laughs> no. No. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're just a I feel like I'm back in London, Laura. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in London. I'll survive the tube. Uh, just a smidge.
go. Time to board our train. I'm sure, it'll be a nice, easy ride. And Coach D. Oh, this would be nice and pleasurable, won't it? Anyone getting a snack? <laughs> Aboard everyone. Safe travels to Hogsmeade. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fancy a chocolate frog or something. Maybe some oh, magic oh. jelly beans. Oh, magic jelly beans. Question for you all, including yeah. the viewers at home now. Yeah. Yes. What's your favourite thing about the Harry Potter franchise? Is it the characters, the movie? What, what is it that's so like... So, because it's, it's so immersive. It's like you're in that world. It's yeah. the theming of the buildings. The theming of the... Yeah, you're just in that world. Yeah. There's no like... Crossing See, what gets me going for is the music. Yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 you know what every time there's a Harry Potter yeah. film comes on, it goes... It's that song, that dramatic yeah. one, isn't it? Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 But you've got to get your hands involved like you're playing it. Yeah. It's, I don't know, it just puts you in a good mood, doesn't it, the music? Yeah. And then you've got Miss Bag Daddy who doesn't have an understand a thing about Harry Potter. Well, I've got to tell you, it's, it's, you know, they, they, they say it's a conspiracy theory. What's Do this? they? Yeah, that Hogwarts doesn't even exist. And it does. <gasps> Does it does? Does it exist? Of course it does. Yeah, what, what train do you think we're on now? Where do you think we're going absolutely. now? Absolutely. I just... It's the cloaks that do me. I love the cloaks. Well, I've never been in here in the dark before, never. So this will be amazing to walk around. I can hear Hagrid's already going round, everyone loving it. So that's where we're heading to next. Little ride on Hagrid's in the dark. Through this really big, cool beam going up into the sky, like a special event thing. Big full moon up there, and the good news is all the rain's gone. Stopped and finished, look at this at night. Wow. Never been in here in the dark before. Obviously, you see Universal in the dark at Horror Nights, but you don't come into Horror Nights uh, in Islands of Adventure. Yes, first time seeing it all in the dark. Wow. 
Well, look at that for a little entrance. It's a 45 minute wait, but it's going to be so worth it to ride it in the dark. I think it's the only ride that we'll have actually had a bit of a wait for. Oh, the sound, look at that. Oh, yes. Unbelievable in the dark, isn't it? Unbelievable in the dark. With the headlights and everything. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm grateful if you didn't mention any of this to anyone back at Hogwarts. <laughs> See you next lesson. Oh, wow. Unbelievable in the dark. Makes your belly go even more. Oh, unreal. Unreal. So what did you think of that at night, then? Amazing at night, wasn't it? It's just feels like a totally different ride, doesn't it? Much more intense. Yeah, I agree. And that you were saying like when you go on the Devil's Snare and stuff, because it's already see, dark. You can't see the track, so you just yeah, forget you're on the roller coaster. Yeah. It's amazing, and the events that you don't get to see in the day because it's too bright. Like yeah. the lights on the bike going out when you um, go to that tunnel and you get blasted all that hot air. Yeah, all oh, the little buttons flash, and yeah, there's yeah, all little bits, wasn't there? Don't see every day, which we I was there uh, 35 minutes as well. Yeah. Dead easy. That's acceptable, isn't it? So I think we're going to head round to. Um, could I could I book a visit to the restroom? And, restroom. And sit down. And a little drink and a little break, and then we'll go and do Velocity Coaster. We'll grab a little water or something somewhere, and there go the loo and take in some of these sights as we head through. But well worth every minute that was. I uh, yeah, I wish all of you could uh, ride that at night. Tell you universal. You've got to do a few nights, a few nights a week, where you open a little bit later in the evening time. Let people experience all this in the dark because it makes a huge difference. Well, I'm just loving all the views. We've got the castle there, which just looks stunning. And then in this direction, you've got the Hulk, all this up running in the background there. Look at that for a view. As we make our way to the Lossy Coaster, first time riding this trip, which sounds crazy because we haven't been on it yet and we've been here for over a week. However, I'm not seeing it running either. So that's not a good sign, is it? Maybe Velocity Coaster's not on. Yeah, we're not, not done very well with Velocity Coaster at all this trip. We've not been on it. We've been here over a week. Ah, we're okay. There it goes. There it goes. We're on. We're on. Here we go. It's a ride now, which means no wait. And guess who's coming on it with us? Dad's coming on. We're going to wait specifically for the front, though, which I think you'll be much better with. Last time you were on, like, row seven. We're going to get you on row row one, which I think we'll, you'll feel a bit better with. Pet Laura's leaving all their beads behind. Yeah, you can't take anything on this ride. <laughs> no, we're going to get a locker anyway, though, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, 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 get me on here. First ride of the trip. It's in the dark. Night ride with Dad front row. <laughs> and look how empty the queue is. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. You enjoying it tonight, Dad? Oh, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Just need to relax. Front row. Chill out. You're with me, not Mum. <laughs> change and smaller items must be placed in complimentary lockers prior to riders passing through land. It's just come off. <laughs> How are you feeling dad? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. didn't you didn't like it? Oh I thought I was gonna die. 
too intense. Oh, too intense, man. That yeah. is not for the faint heart of that. No. It throws you around. You don't. You feel like you're coming out of your seat. You're upside down. <laughs> that was good. Fully. I thought it was brilliant in the dark. Brilliant in the dark. At the front. I'm glad I wasn't at the front. <laughs> it's definitely smoother at the front. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. We'll sit you down with some water now, Dad. Unbelievable ride in the dark, that. Unreal. And I love that, what they've done with Hulk with the, the lights coming out of the top. Yeah, it was a straight walk on that. Dad struggling, struggling. Well, you tried it twice. You had to try it a couple of times to see if you definitely didn't like it. It's a definite no from Garvey. Definite no. Well, you know what will cure that? A little bit of Doctor Dooms. <laughs> you broke me. You can chill now. You broke me. You can chill. You have to try it a second time, though, to make sure. Really? Yeah, it had to be done. It had to be done. There's Mum there giving us a wave. <laughs> Mum had the best seat. <laughs> Mum had the best seat. I loved that. It was awesome in the dark, oh wasn't my it? God. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. So different in the dark. Absolutely amazing. Because even though you know what's going on, it was just so different. It's all like twists and turns. Oh, yeah. I loved the fog at the beginning. There was loads of fog at the beginning. Yeah, there was loads, yeah. Really, really good. Loved it. Definitely, again, another one that's completely different when it's dark. So just queuing up at the Jurassic Pop popcorn stand where we can get popcorn, power raids, churros, turkey legs, all included. So I'm gonna get a couple of power raids, get some popcorn as well. Might grab Dad a, Dad a turkey leg. And this just shows you how much food they've given away tonight. Four thousand two hundred dollars worth of food has been given out just from this stand alone. Wow. Well, just grabbed myself a little uh, cheese pizza for the road, so's mum <laughs> included, and there's a uh, mixed icy as well. Amazing. Included as well. Love it. And dad's over there, couldn't even face any food. Look at him. Funny. Okay, so we're just about to meet a little raptor here. Yeah? We're all going to come in together. All of us, we're all going in. Right here to Kelsey. We're ah, okay. Take our food and drinks, Perfect. And we're going to set them right over here. So ah, okay, grab all the no way problem. Out. Let's get my. That's the safe line. We do not want to go past that line because then you'll never make it back to the UK. Now we want to turn and look at the camera because we want to see your faces in the photos. Yeah, just like that. Now, sir, we just met you. Don't go past the black and yellow line, sir. All right. You're doing great. Now, when we're here at Jurassic World for photos and videos, we don't say cheese, okay? We smile big and say teeth. Do you get it? It has a smile big, say teeth. Oh my goodness, Blue, you do teeth so well. Look at how well the rest ah! Okay. So I just picked up a little pretzel to try as well. Why not? Very nice. Could have got cheese sauce with it, but I didn't fancy it. Do you fancy doing Skull Island Kong if it's open? They're very spooky at this time of night, walking through into uh, Kong Skull Island. I haven't done this for a few trips, so this will be good to do. Yeah, it is the feel the air con, can't you? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't sound it sounds very unpleasant. Look at all this as well. Oh, whoa! Hey, someone's in there. Whoa! Oh, oh, <laughs> Mum got a fright then. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is quite, it's quite an intense uh, queue line, it really is. Laura, it's you before you coffee that. Where's my coffee? <laughs> That's you when I get you up for early entry. <laughs> Where's my annual pass? <laughs> That's you. Well, I've never seen this before in the queue line ever. Oh, that's horrible. It looks like my oh. patient.
ride on there, but it is intense. It is intense. Very graphic. Like, very graphic, very dark, very uh, moody. Yeah, if you've got young kids, it can be a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I know even the queue line was a little bit spooky, but uh, it was good. Good little run through. Straight walk on, as it should be, really. I wouldn't wait any any more than like 20 minutes for that, really, in my opinion. Right, now, there's one thing that I want to do, if we can. Normally, you can't do it, and it's the pterodactyl ride. Normally, you have to be accompanied by a child, but tonight, they don't make you be accompanied by a child. So we can do it, you're allowed to do it as an adult. Normally you have to have a child with you. But we don't, you don't have to have a child with you tonight, so we can just go on and do it. So yeah, normally you cannot ride this unless you've got a child. But tonight, those rules are scrapped and you can come on as an adult, no problem. Have you ever ridden this? Never. Never? never I've ridden never. it as a kid with mum. So we'll get them on. You might as well come on, it's a nice little smooth thing, this. Yeah, you normally have to be with a with a child, but there you go, someone going around it now. Let's quickly jump on it, since you can never normally do it. Gorgeous queue line. Really nice with the fire. Oh, we've had a great night tonight. Great night. Here we go. Well, that's disappointing, we got to the front. And she's like, can I see your pass? I said, what pass? Apparently only a few people get given these magic tickets to ride it. And there uh, we weren't those people, so we're not allowed on it. So there you go, you've got, to have a, you've got to be given a special little ticket for that. We weren't given any special tickets, so... Uh, no no flyers for us, which is a shame. Maybe we can just like kidnap a kid for 10 minutes and <laughs> just, just go on in. Yeah, I thought that was open to everyone, but it's, uh, it's not. It's random people get given some tickets to ride it. That's the one ride in the park, like it's just like no yeah. kids, no entry. Crazy, isn't it? Fair enough. Right, we might do a little cheeky spidey on the way out, we'll see how we feel. We're gonna make our way towards the exit now because it is it is now midnight, so I think most rides are gonna be pretty much yeah, coming to a close now. Yeah. Now there's a site we don't see very often. Ripsaw falls in the dark, all lit up. I've never seen that hideout written at the top there, I've never noticed that. Just a, a totally different seeing it like this, in a really good way as well. So our last little stop on the way out is to get a little ice cream. Something sweet, that's what I fancy. Little ice cream. Oh look at this little bad boy to finish the night, a chocolate swell with M&Ms. Lovely. There the price is just up there. Laura's getting one in a bowl. Way. Thank you so much. Look at that, nice little finish to the night. Well, what a night, folks. I hope you all enjoyed that. Really, really good. Uh, really worth it as well. Fantastic. That ice cream at the end capped it off very nicely. So we'll like, catch you back at the car. We're all flagging a little bit. It is half past midnight, so flagging a bit, but fantastic day. Did you enjoy it? Every minute of it. Loved every minute of it. It was amazing, yeah. Loved all the food, all the drinks, the quick rides, like no, not, no waiting time. The most we waited was 35 minutes. Yeah, amazing. that was for Hagrid's. Yeah. Mum, enjoyed it? Fabulous. Great. Yeah. Loved how empty the park was and yeah, just stroll nice, around, just, yeah. no pressure driving from this place to the next. No bumping yeah, into no people. No yeah. with people. I mean, I understand they've got to make the money so they have got to have the parks full, but for yeah. me, if the park was like this every day, oh, I'd be here every day. Well, I think everyone would pick it like if it was like this every day. But yeah. I remember the days when it, you and you used to get days like this occasionally yeah. where yeah, it would be yeah. this quiet. Yeah. Yeah. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Never going to be quiet ever again. Oh, no. Absolutely loved yeah. rising, um, riding ha Hagrid's in the dark, or Lost the Coast in the dark. Hagrid's in the dark. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely. think you've killed Dad off with the Lost Coaster. Yeah. I think he's a wrecked man. <laughs>
<laughs> but he did say he wants to do it a second time just to see if he definitely didn't like it or not. And he definitely, and he definitely doesn't. doesn't. But I wasn't the best knife for him to try that. He could have done it and absolutely loved it. The problem was as well, he ate loads before going on, which is never advisable, is it? Oh, I'm full to the brim. I've had ice cream, all kinds. Got me money's got me money's worth. Okay, so Laura's gonna try and have a go at getting one of the beads on the tree. Here we go, Laura. I think you gotta swoosh it, not it's not gonna yeah, you gotta do it like that, yeah. Oh, you got it on. It stayed on as well. Well done. You did it. There you go. Your lucky charms on Laura. Well done, it's a good shot. Yeah. Good shot, there you go. Your lucky beads are on. How are you feeling there, Dad? <laughs> you're knackered on, you're struggling a wee bit. <laughs> that hot dog repeating on you a little bit. You, you finally broke me. <laughs> I am broken. <laughs> Have you enjoyed your night though, Dad? I loved it. I loved it. You're just Been knackered. Absolutely exhausted. And you put me on that velocity coaster on a bit of a lie. A bit of a lie. lie. I thought you would be alright to be fair. I thought you've got to try it a second time, but Just intense. My but that would have been the last ride of the day anyway, really. It's so a good job if it was the first. Anyway, when, night. when you can have a lion in the morning. Oh, right. Just um text me when you're up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just an update on that. Still having a nightmare with Uber. They still can't get hold of the guy. His phone goes to voicemail or it rings out and his voicemail is full. So still no joy with getting the phone back. And uh, Uber, pretty unhelpful in the end. I've got a, a little bit complainy with them. I said, you know, it's your driver. You should be able to get hold of him within 24 hours. And uh, what they've said is if you want to speed it up, go, go to the police and file a report. So see if anything. I'm going to get on, on the live chat again with them in a minute uh, when we get home. And uh, have another good moan and say, you know, how can you have a driver you can't get hold of for 24 hours? And, uh, you know, you shouldn't allow him to take any more bookings until he responds to Uber. Happens, like, serious happens to get me and you need to get that driver. Yeah, yeah, well, get, like, he, but they'll know if he's logged on to take fares tonight. He shouldn't be able to take any more fares now until he responds to Uber and tells them yes or no have they got his phone so until he replies to uber and says yeah i've got it no i haven't he shouldn't be able to take any more jobs in my opinion all we're looking for is a yes or a no here and he's just not replying so there we go so just to show you the full price that we paid for this evening for four tickets for the night it came to a total of $1,044 in total for one night. It is pricey, but if you compare it to the prices of a fast pass and the amount that you get in the food and drinks, I believe it is good value. It's a treat, great for a special occasion, but just for full transparency, that is the price that we paid. Well, that concludes our epic little day. I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, do please give a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the uh, informal meetup, also the segues as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. There is loads still to come and loads already on the channel. So do check out the other vlogs. Follow me on Instagram, uh, the Night Strider Florida fan group on Facebook as well. And don't forget TikTok. Uh, but that's it from us. We're straight to bed, absolutely knackered, but we'll catch you again tomorrow for another fun day here in Florida.